Good morning, everybody. We're at the gym. We're going to do a great day. And today, I feel like starting on the barbell. I don't normally use barbells for a glute day. I normally don't even come to the squat rack section literally at all. But today, I just felt like doing free weight hip dust instead of Smith machine hip dusts. So that's what we're doing. I don't love stretching on the squat rack because it's dirty as fuck. But I mean, what am I supposed to do? Not stretch. I have to go on my hands and knees for those paws, but I do. Oh, so like, have you guys ever had a cat and like it throws up? Have you ever seen a cat throw up? It looks very much similar to the stretch that I was just doing. And that's not a joke, it genuinely does. So the idea for today's boot day is that we're gonna do hip thrusts, Bulgarian split squats, RDLs, and hip abductors. For the hip abductors, probably won't be on video because um, I don't like the angle that hip abductors puts my body at, to be completely honest with you. Every time I do a hip abductor, either you have to see my entire butt or um, the front of me just opening my legs. So that's why I don't show it. So yesterday was day one of decreasing my calories to 1,800, and I went to bed so hungry. Honestly, I think I'll get used to it, obviously, but I'm going from 2,100 to 1,800. It's only 300 difference, but dude, that's a difference. That's two snacks that I don't eat anymore. So, whatever. Gotta be cut for the summer. One thing for sure is that my, um, like, knee health has improved recently which is good but it just so hurts oh my god so we are gonna start off with hip thrusts like i said so i just need to put the weight on there which is arguably the harder part so we're just gonna see how i do with that i don't have like a pad or anything so i'm gonna have to get a yoga mat from somewhere hopefully i was just eight shit so glad i did not i need to go on a voyage so i'll be right back but we don't have a hip thrust pad. I looked around, I couldn't find a yoga mat or anything like that. So we're doing it with no hip thrust pad or anything. Um, I'm probably gonna have gnarly bruises on my hips tomorrow, but we're only gonna do 135. <laughs> Mission accomplished, you guys. I found a yoga mat. I was worried the person it was next to was using it, but she was like, no, I'm not using it. So, perfect. We got a yoga mat, so my hip bones won't hurt so bad. I kind of regret doing that first set, but I'm not going to count it as a set. That could just be like a cute warm-up. But another plate on there. Just call it a day. I have two plates. On my side. I feel like a car mechanic, and I'm like, just fixing my cute little car. Oops. See, that's what I mean now. It's just flat. Yeah. The biggest problem I have with that set is that my chest are hurting. It's just for my pre workout, though. I don't like this is my conundrum with pre workouts. I don't like ones that are fizzy. I don't love it. I don't love the ones that are not fizzy. Because when they're not fizzy, they taste like sh But they also taste like flat soda. And I hate flat soda. Who, who likes that? I know there's probably someone out there that does. Flat Diet Coke's kind of good when it's cold. But who wants to drink something fizzy at 5, 5 a.m.? That was like not even a little lopsided. That was very lopsided. I just like pushed through it because like what else do I do? I'm gonna move it a little bit. Okay. Yeah, that's good. Question today. How many leg days do you hit a week? And if you don't hit them every week, how many leg days do you hit in a month? Some people are like, oh yeah, I hit legs every two weeks or 
If you also have trouble with like hip thrusts, squats, etc., getting some really sturdy and flat shoes can help you because I used to lift in, started lifting in like chunky sneakers, I believe, type. Squats were uncomfortable. Then I lifted in vans and my squats were uncomfortable. But once I got these Nikes, they're pretty flat. Just like average tennis shoe. It really helped with like when I squat in these, I would, it's perfect. Especially doing hip thrusts with a flat surface. Okay. All right, you guys. So we're going to go for a little PR on the RDLs. I don't really count it as a PR of any type because it's an RDL. It's not like a deadlift or anything like that. But I've never done it with 135 before. We're trying it. Seeing if I can switch grip it, maybe. I don't know. My prediction is I'm going to get in six. It's pretty generous to say that I would get in six. But you know what? It's been a little bit crazy to succeed. And that's a real direct quote from me. I'm the first person probably to ever say that. So if you ever wonder who to credit that to, that would be me. Nervous about even picking this up. Yeah, I was right to be nervous. <laughs> Okay, wait. Am I am I tripping or did I just kill that? I think I just killed that. That's pretty crazy. You guys gotta give me that one. Yeah, I definitely I definitely tend to sell myself short in the strength department. But to be honest, I'm just scared that I'm gonna hurt myself. <laughs> so I tr kind of steer away from trying heavier weights, but dude, that was actually so easy. I could probably do more weight than that. Why is that better, like easier than squatting? Well, I guess people can normally deadlift more than they squat, so I guess that makes sense. Here's set number two. <laughs> So we only have one more set of this, then we're gonna go ahead. hopefully to the smooth machine, but it's not looking like I can get there. So we might do some of those Sundays instead, which are a bit of a little torture, but if I have to, I will. It's only two set, so let's get this last set. Hopefully I can get an eight again. Probably will be able to, because that really wasn't hard to get an eight. I'm just like in shock right now. Like, how did I even get eight? So it's hard to measure if I should be doing 135, maybe going up a little bit. I just don't know. What I know for sure is I got hip dips. One of the two of the Smith machines opened up the second I got set up. And I'm sorry, but I already got all set up. I am not about to take all this. Literally just got it set up. <sighs> I like to re-rack for a little bit before I do the last leg. It's probably the worst set of abductions I've had the disgrace of doing in my entire life. Hardest eight sets of my life. Almost threw up. The whole nine yards, really. I go home, but I have to do 
20 minutes of Stairmaster. And yes, I do cardio for 20 minutes. Sue me. I don't... I don't care. Whatever big piece you're commentating right now, I don't care. Yeah, I'll see you guys tomorrow, and hopefully that's a full day meeting video, as well as a workout. And it's going to be... Hmm. I believe it's going to be a chest and shoulders day.